Trevor Lawrence has been playing at an MVP level over the second half of the 2022 season. He had an underwhelming start to his career, but he's fully arrived as a top five quarterback, and the landscape of the AFC South is about to change for the next 10 years. Over the last six weeks, Trevor Lawrence has thrown 10 touchdowns and no interceptions. He has a completion percentage of 71.8 and a 91.0 PFF grade, which ranks second among quarterbacks. And he had the best performance of his career in week 14 against the Titans. He had 368 yards and a 91.3 PFF passing grade, which are both the highest of his career. So in this video, we're gonna break down some of his best plays from week 14. And before we get into it, make sure to subscribe and follow us on all our social media. You can find the links for those in the description. First play that we're gonna look at from the Titans game, it's third and six, and the Jaguars are running a concept called Ohio, which is a go route and a speed out to the sticks. Zay Jones does a great job of stemming his release inside with this jab step, which gets Amani Hooker to play this flat footed. And then Trevor Lawrence couldn't have put this ball in a better location. Accuracy and velocity throwing to the sideline has been on his tape consistently over the past few weeks. Second and four, this is a really nice back shoulder go to Zay Jones, one of several elite throws from this game that his receiver dropped. And this has been a problem for Jacksonville all season. Trevor Lawrence leads NFL quarterbacks with 28 drops from his receivers. So when you add Calvin Ridley and whatever other receiver upgrades they make to the equation, you can expect Trevor Lawrence's raw stats to look a lot better. This is another drop on third and three. The Jaguars are running a concept that Doug Peterson calls Colt, where you get a clear out slant from the number two and then a quick slant underneath from the number one. Perfect timing and accuracy on this throw, but Zay Jones just can't bring it in. Next up, the Jags are running a play called Coffee with a big corner from the Z and a corner stop from the X. Jacksonville was doing a great job all game of using play action to define the layers in Tennessee's defense. You can see they have these three deep defenders, a huge amount of space, and then the linebackers that bid on the play action. So Christian Kirk runs this corner stop right into the soft spot of the defense. Really easy throw for Trevor Lawrence. Because Trevor Lawrence is so accurate throwing to the sideline, that allows Jacksonville to be really effective attacking two high coverages. So right here, the Titans are running cover six, which is quarters on one side and cover two on the other. So on the cover two side, you have Roger McCurry playing a hard flat on the speed out. And then Zay Jones is running a corner to the end zone, but Kevin Byard's playing with inside leverage. And so Trevor Lawrence identifies Byard not getting any width, and he knows that he's gonna have space to fit this throw in there. He's also shown really good anticipation and timing throwing over the middle of the field. Right here, the Titans are playing quarters coverage, so Dylan Cole, the hook defender, is gonna wall off the inside of number two. He makes contact, and Lawrence knows that he's gonna have an opening for this in-breaking route right when it breaks. The Mike linebacker can't get over quickly enough, and the safety can't come down to affect the throw. Trevor Lawrence didn't have many negatives as a draft prospect, but one of the few areas that he needed to improve was playmaking out of structure. He's always had the arm talent and the athletic ability to be great in those situations. He just hasn't put it on tape that often, but against the Titans, he was doing a great job of finding his receivers under pressure. Right here, they run a stunt through the A gap. He escapes the pocket, keeps his eyes downfield, and he's able to find Zay Jones for a third down conversion. And then another great job under pressure on this next play. The Jags are running a post with two drag routes underneath and the Titans are showing single high. So this post route could be open, but they're rotating into cover two. So the post is bracketed by both of the safeties and you've got five underneath defenders covering these drag routes. So there's nothing open on his initial read. He does a great job sidestepping the pressure, just effortless pocket manipulation. And then he has the hip fluidity and foot quickness to reset his feet and hit his running back down the sideline with the elevation to get it over Bud Dupree, but keep him inbounds. These last two plays that I've shown under pressure and this play at the goal line right here really highlight what makes Trevor Lawrence different from other great young passers. He also has the ability to call his own shot and make plays with his legs. Doug Peterson confirmed this was just a handoff. It wasn't an option. Travis Etienne actually has some room here to actually get the touchdown. He sees Dylan Cole crashing down to cover the running back. And I've watched every Dylan Cole snap of this season. He's a nice run and hit linebacker, but he has major issues tackling in space. So this is great film study by Trevor Lawrence to recognize that he has a one-on-one -on -one matchup on the outside that he can win. This next throw is the definition of a heat check. The Jaguars are running Yankee, which is a post dig off of play action. Again, the play action segments the Titans defense. This dig from Christian Kirk is wide open, but Trevor Lawrence passes up the dig. Even though he's got double coverage on this post route, he knows that he has the arm talent to get it 55 yards over the safeties. Literally could not put it in a better spot, but Zay Jones drops the ball. Here's another drop on a really nice back shoulder throw. Terrence Mitchell doesn't turn around so they get a pass interference call, but this is where Trevor Lawrence is at his best when he can just survey the defense before the snap, find his matchups, and then get the ball there accurately. Later in the drive, another really similar throw. This time he's under pressure. He's got this blitzing linebacker coming around from the left. 
Great touch and elevation on this throw to let Evan Ingram go over the top. And you can see on a lot of these passes, there wasn't a ton of separation. The coverage was actually pretty tight on a lot of these one-on-one -on -one throws. But if your quarterback can deliver the ball with perfect accuracy, a lot of times the coverage just doesn't matter. And then final play that we're gonna look at, the Jaguars are running play action boot. So they get a play fake to the left and then flood the right sideline with routes at all three levels. This deep corner is almost never gonna be open. The Titans bracket it with two defenders. And then this second level route isn't really open for most quarterbacks, but Trevor Lawrence sees a linebacker with his back turned and he delivers the ball high and outside so that if Joe Schobert were to turn around, he wouldn't be able to intercept it. Just an incredible throw to make on the run. Thanks for watching. If you enjoy the video, make sure to like and subscribe. Also, let me know in the comments any players or teams that you'd like me to cover.